What's up, pizza people? It's Jesse from Patio Pizza, and today I'm going to answer the question, what makes better pizza, though? More an asshole of water or beer. Let's get started. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Ah, uh, beer. Its awesomeness lies in its ability to transcend borders and cultures, uniting people in shared enjoyment. From crisp lagers to bold ales and flavorful stouts, beers offer a diverse range of styles and flavors to suit every palate. There's also many a beer enthusiast that suggests using beer instead of water in pizza dough is the secret to the most amazing pizza crust you've ever had in your entire life. And there are a few pretty good arguments for why this might be true. Most notably, flavor enhancement. Adding beer to your pizza dough is gonna impart some unique flavors and a deeper flavor profile than you'd get with just water. Texture improvement. It suggested that the carbonation in beer might actually give you a chewier and fluffier crust. Complexity and character. Beer contains a variety of different ingredients from barley to unique yeast strains that are gonna impart a very complex structure to your pizza dough, supposedly. And finally, personal preference. Surely there is gonna be a difference between using beer and water in pizza dough, and some people might just be drawn to that flavor difference that you get from beer. But as always, I like to do an experiment and test things for myself to see what is true, what isn't true, what I like, what I don't like, and I am sure there are people out there that aren't gonna like my answer. Always happens. You know who you are. So today, I'm making two nearly identical batches of dough. One I'm gonna use 100% beer instead of water, the other is gonna be 50% beer, 50% water. This is just a take on one of my standard all-purpose pizza dough recipes. I'm gonna cook them up side by side, compare them to what I would normally get on my pizza dough, and we're gonna see which one's better. For both recipes, I'll start by blooming a half gram of instant yeast with some warm water and a tablespoon of honey. I don't normally bother with this step, but I wanna make sure the yeast is nice and happy and active before adding it to this dough as the alcohol in the beer that we're gonna be putting into the dough might actually inhibit the yeast. Uh, every yeast has a different tolerance to alcohol. Some can handle a lot of alcohol, some can't handle really hardly any alcohol. Uh, so I just wanna make sure the yeast is you know, up and running before we add the addition to the alcohol to it. Then I'm gonna grab myself a light beer. This is a American style lager. It's, it's low on the hoppy profile, it's low alcohol. When you take something that's hoppy and you bake it or cook it, it's going to enhance the bitterness in that hop profile. So you don't really wanna use a really hoppy beer for pizza dough. And again, I want a lower alcohol beer because the higher alcohol might actually inhibit the yeast and we won't get a proper fermentation. So light, low alcohol, American lager, usually a pretty good bet for pizza dough. I'll use 300 grams of my beer. I did let this beer come to room temperature before using it. I don't wanna have it too cold, again, inhibiting my yeast. To that, I'll add 500 grams of flour. This is just a double zero flour, but any high protein flour will work. Then I'll toss in 10 grams of sea salt and the yeast slurry that I put together earlier. I'm gonna mix that in a bowl with a big spoon until it all comes together. Then I'll knead it on the table for a few minutes to finish developing the gluten. Once it seems strong, I'll throw it back in my bowl, cover it, and let it rest for an hour or two at room temperature. After it's rest, I'm gonna divide my beer dough into three 275 gram dough balls. To ball it up, I just gently stretch it, then fold it back onto itself, turn 45 degrees, and repeat until you have a nice, tight ball. That'll go into a grease container with a lid and cold proof in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same recipe, this time with half as much beer, uh, replacing that with water. So 150 grams of beer, 150 grams of water. That'll also go into the fridge. We're gonna give it 24 to 48 hours and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, 24 hours later, this is the end result. This is the 50% beer to water. This is 100% beer. As you can see, the 100% beer didn't rise as much as the 50, so I don't know if the alcohol in there slowed the yeast down. Uh, they both look pretty good though, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of classic cheese pizzas. Give this a shot.
All right, I got my two final pizzas here. 50% beer, 100% beer. Decided to do this little uh, final review outside. It's a glorious day out. They're few and far between here in Maine, so get it while you can. 50% beer first. Uh, good cook all around, super poofy. I, the dough was very uh, soft to work with. I was surprised how soft it was. Good, nice and tender, good flavor. I wouldn't say it's that different from my regular dough though, if at all. I might be imagining it, but there is a slight beer undertone, but it could just be my brain making things up. It is good though, it's real good. All right, 100% beer. I didn't put any water in this other than the water that was in the beer that I cooked this with. Hmm. That has beer flavor. I can taste beer. It's actually not as tender as the 50%. It's chewier. Also really good. It smells like beer. Actually, when I was cooking this in the rock box, it smelled a little bit like a brewery. When you go on a brew tour, that's what my rock box smelled like. Also very good. All right, final answer. Is beer better than water for making pizza? No. I don't know if I really notice much of a difference. They're both really good, but mm, probably not enough to justify the cost of putting beer in your pizza dough all the time. Hope that helps. Hope that was the answer you were looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you hit subscribe and I love you lots.